Amazon Echo and Google Home are actually pretty secure. Lots of security researchers have tried to hack it, but no one's really succeeded at doing anything significant. So actually, Amazon and Google have done a pretty good job. But I'm going to show you how you can hack people's homes using Alexa. Now, before we start, I'm going to be giving Alexa commands. So you might want to turn off the microphone on your Alexa unless you want me hacking your house while you watch the video. We're going to be taking advantage of a vulnerability in the Google Chromecast. Now, back in 2014, some security researchers from Bishop Fox found that you could attack it and knock it off the owner's home Wi-Fi network. And once you've done that, you could then use it to start sending things. Now, Google didn't think it was a bug and it all went a bit quiet, but we realised you can use This Is You to take control of people's smart homes through their Alexa. So here we are outside our victim's house. Now we've identified they've got a Chromecast using an online war driving database that tells us what's where in terms of Wi-Fi around the country. So we need to attack that Chromecast. Joe, how are we going to do it? How are we going to play arbitrary content and get the TV to talk to Alexa? Well, I've got a high gain antenna here on my wireless adapter and I can use this from here to de-authenticate the Google Chromecast from the home wireless network. And there's a bug in the Chromecast, which means when, it, when I de-authenticate it, it goes into a sort of setup mode. And I can take advantage of that setup mode to make the Chromecast connect to me rather than the home network. Once it's talking to me, I can use it to stream whatever I want to it, which will be played on the television. And from there, it will be picked up by the Alexa. So we're outside and you can wirelessly get the TV to start playing YouTube content arbitrarily. Absolutely. So how's about we make a cup of tea? Alexa, turn on the kettle. So what about the kettle? But there are many more evil things that you could do using this YouTube streaming method than the Chromecast. For example, Alexa, Set the thermostat to off mode, and that will take it down to four degrees centigrade, the minimum safety temperature. So it'll be pretty cold when you get back. But if your house is old and poorly insulated, four degrees downstairs could easily be enough to freeze your pipes upstairs. Now, Alexa skills that involve unlocking devices like this smart door lock, or maybe deactivating your house alarm require a pin. But if you don't set a strong pin, it's going to be easy for someone to figure it out using this method. So if it's four zeros or one, two, three, four, it's just not good enough. You can even recover them within a mobile application like this. That said, there are plenty of unofficial Alexa skills integrations, which would allow you to do things like, for example, Alexa, open the garage door. Summon the Tesla. Now in fairness, the Alexa skills to summon the Tesla are actually unofficial, so you'd be very unlikely to be able to get hold of a, a Tesla in this way. But a lot of auto manufacturers do offer official skills for Alexa, so there's a lot you could do. Maybe you're just feeling mischievous. You can use the same Chromecast and YouTube method to, Alexa, set an alarm every day for 3 a.m. Alarm set for every day at 3 a.m. So this shouldn't be possible. Google should have fixed this de-authentication bug back in 2014 when it was first found. So I want you all to think really carefully. Do you really need voice control over your smart technology in your home? Now, if you do, then that's fine. But please, when you're not using it, set the microphone to off so these attacks don't work. 